Hi, we're Mallory Knox. And you tuned in to hit the floor. Wow. Hello, viewers. This is uh, Tim from Hit the Floor magazine, and I'm here with uh, Dave, James, and Joe from Mallory Knox. Do you want to say hello, fellas? Hi, right. everyone. Hello. So we're at Heavy Festival 2012. A couple nice. of festivals in for you guys now over the uh, yeah. the festival season. Yeah, what's, what's been the highlight so far, Joe? It's sunny. Yeah, that's Joe. Yeah, fair enough. Go. Be pro, mate. Basically, like, in terms of weather, Heavy's been the best. Download was a fucking washout. It was a nightmare. I had to wear wellies all weekend. It was an absolute ball ache. But we've had a good run so far this year. We've done hit the deck, take down, download, now Heavy, and we've got Butts Fest coming up, so... Butts Fest? Butts of Fest. Oh. I wish <laughs> a show with Bucks Fears. Would you be happy? Would you be happy with that? So Welly's not broke to the uh, festival shoe of choice. Yeah, How are we doing them today? I'm, I'm oh, kind sure of desert boots. What this boot's called? Yeah, desert boot. We'll go for that. So James, your yeah. highlight of the uh, festival season so far is, is, is the fact that it's sunny. It's sunny nice. today. Yeah, sunny today. Heavy. It's been a good one. Best best festival so far. Um, up there. It's up there. Dave. I feel like I'm leaving you out a little bit. It's fine, it's alright. You've just finished recording your album? Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, I don't know what to say about it, to be honest with you. Um, took us a while to write it. Um, bit of a arse ache trying to write it as well, because we all sort of nearly fell out, pretty much. But, you know, it sounds good. We're very, very pleased with it. And we just want to get it out. Death Rattle is actually coming out tomorrow, which is uh, Monday. What date's that? That'll be the 6th. So it's out well. When you view this, it'll be out <laughs> now. So go. It will, it. it will be out, and it will be in shops and online. I'm guessing. Is just that, um, is that physical just or is it all iTunes. digital? Yeah. Well, the just, single is. Uh, the single's physical, but the album's going to be uh, physical and downloads. Okay. But yeah, um, regarding the album, like it took us quite a long time to write it. We're all very, very fussy when we write. Like, I think we scrap more than we keep. Okay. We. Uh, we are very, very sort of. We've all got such different opinions. We all listen to different types of music in this band, so it's so hard. Like what what one person considers amazing, another guy stood there in the corner being like, "This sucks." Yeah, I can understand. So how many how many songs would you say you wrote in the process? Was there was there you know, we, twenty songs, fifty songs? When you they don't have to be finished, but ideas I, and. I don't think we'll ever be one of those bands that writes twenty songs. That's with them down. We we wrote our album and. That's Any anything that wasn't good got binned. Like, like that's just how we've always worked. And I think that's a really good way to work. And you've just released the uh, the acoustic EP, which is fantastic, by the way. Well, it was it was. We wanted to make a stopgap because it's been a long time since we put anything out. I mean, I know we released Hello, it was like a free download, which is going to be on the album as well. But with the acoustic EP, it was like something that we'd always wanted to do. We liked the fact that we did it as a live session. So it was and how long did that take? Cause you recorded it with Oz Craggs at Hidden Track four, Studios. Correct, yeah. And how many songs? Three? We'd done three songs. but we actually done four, but we scrapped one. We weren't happy with how it turned out. Which one was that? Uh, a song on our EP called Promises. But um, we'd done it all. We got there about 11 in the morning and we were, we were out by about 8 in the evening. We just hammered through. And that's available online and there's videos that, that accompany that, isn't there, James? Yeah. Yep. So did you enjoy that process, doing the acoustic thing? Is it something different for you guys? Or do you write acoustically when you write, is it? I think the songs uh, originate from acoustic, acoustic so... Right. But it was really weird, it's like um, Sam will tell you. It's, um, when we come to do them again acoustically, it was like rewriting the whole song. Okay. It was really strange. They didn't lend themselves from electric to acoustic that easily right. so we really had to push I think forward. resuscitate is the key example yeah, yeah, yeah. of that I mean it's like it's arguably like our most upbeat song I'd say and it's just we totally sounds like something you'd hear playing in the background in Starbucks yeah I, I, I've got to say the, the, the musicianship on it really sort of shone through and, and the songwriting you could I mean obviously we we played with you guys quite a lot last year and, and so to see you doing it in an acoustic form was really interesting for us and, uh, and quite a lot of practice with the egg shakers I was about that was my, that was my next my next point of, of conversation actually Dave you have a fantastic wrist action I practice a lot uh, you know. I've never seen someone shake an egg so so perfectly in time yeah well um, I was quite proud of it um, you know it sounded pretty good sounds very good Got a lot of quite good tone out of them eggs not too bad the eggs the eggs I had, I had two I was holding two Wow 
I only noticed one. I must say that we tried out a lot of egg shakers and we'd say the Baby Blue 2 mil plastic all rounder is a... Okay. And, and what brand is that? Um, Dunlop, I'd say. Dunlop, Dunlop, Dunlop egg shakers are there. No, 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 no. Was there any... You're wasting your waste precious Meg, Google it. Was there, uh, was there any thought of maybe using some maracas or a tam... Is there a tambourine? I can't remember. Um, no, but I was, uh, um, planning on, um, getting myself a nice tambourine in there somewhere, but... We wanted to get one of those boxes that he sits on. A cajon, you could have borrowed ours. But it was, like... We were really keen, but we thought it's not the sound we're interested in. It was the fact that it was invented by Dion Dublin. And that's actually true. X Games United hero. Thanks for all the years, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Dion Dublin invented the cajon. 100% true. You can Google that, I'll tell you. Wikipedia it right now. But Wikipedia is not necessarily the, uh, the strongest. But let me tell you, Dion, Source of information. Dion put a lot of hours in and he came out with which we can all agree is a great instrument. Yeah. Yep. What's your uh, favourite instrument, James? Favourite? You can't have guitar. Egg shakers then. <laughs> Egg shakers. Egg shakers. I'd say uh, more the banjo oh. for me. You know, quite like a bit of bluegrass myself. Okay. I'm going to learn it. Do, oh, do you play? I play ukulele. I can play the ukulele pretty well. Yep, smash in. Have, you got, have you got one? Down on it. I have. I didn't bring it with me this weekend. Learned system of a down. I did. Should have bought it. I wish I did. Next time we could do a, a ukulele session. We can. I think that would be a very good idea. So what's what's coming up for you guys in the near future? Anything exciting in the pipeline? Album's coming out when? Uh, the album is coming out towards the end of this year or the beginning of next. I mean, there's not a concrete date and the second there is we'll announce it. But as far as shows and stuff, like... We've got a few tours coming up that we'll be able to announce, you know, again, close to the time. I hate answering a question with that, but, you know, that's all it is. So where, where, when it comes to that time, where will people be able to find that information, James? Facebook. We do a lot of Facebook and Twitter, so... Excellent. So it's just Mallory, anyone, Mallory Knox? Yeah, Mallory, Mallory Knox UK. UK. Mallory Knox UK anyone on Facebook and Twitter. Will, they'll be informed, definitely. So. Excellent. So what's the next... Uh, we'll leave that question, actually. Yeah. Dave? I'm going to say goodbye to you. Okay. See you later. Love you. See ya. Love you. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, sit down. I've been Tim from Hit The Floor. This has been Mallory Knox. I hope you have a lovely rest of your time at Heavy Festival, lads. And uh, I'll see you soon. You too. Can I just say, yeah. if you want to download our new single, Death Rattle, it will be on iTunes from 6th of August. I know we already said, but every little helps. And all of your uh, purchases help this band. So. Support great British music. Definitely. Thank you. Anything else to add? Love you, bye. <laughs> Love you, bye. See you later. Love you, mate, bye. See ya.